It is built on the idea of minimalism, the belief that less can actually give you more. That approach is not limited to the Model 3, it is part of Tesla's design DNA, and the 2026 Tesla Model 2 is set to carry that philosophy forward in ways that you will feel every single day you drive it. You have already seen the buzz. Smooth aerodynamic surfaces, one large central screen with hardly any physical switches, and rear seats that fold flat to unlock genuine cargo space. But those are only the obvious talking points. Tesla never stops at the surface. They push deeper, and the Model 2 quietly introduces design choices that most people will only notice when they start living with the car day after day. Imagine doors that swing open to nearly 85 degrees with double seals and a reassuring solid thunk when you shut them. Picture a calming quiet package that tames highway noise, and right-sized wheels with taller sidewalls that transform an affordable electric car into something that feels anything but cheap. If you are someone who values durability and low-maintenance technology that pays off in real daily life, then you are in exactly the right place. And before we dive in, Make sure to subscribe to Torque Elements so we can reach our next milestone of 2,000 subscribers. And do not forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss future updates. Now let us explore the design. The Model 2 is built short and wide with an open visibility package. Tesla designed it to be compact and agile, perfect for maneuvering in crowded city streets. The wider stance reduces strain on your back when getting in and out while the open sight lines mean you can clearly see at intersections without craning your neck or leaning forward. The first principle is proportion. The car's body is shaped with very short front and rear overhangs, while keeping the wheelbase in the sweet spot of roughly 2,650 to 2,700 millimeters. That balance gives the cabin a more airy feel while keeping the car stable at speed. And here's the clever part. Tesla targeted a turning circle of only about 10 and a half meters. That means the Model 2 can make U-turns within just two lanes and slide into tight parking spaces far more neatly than most low sedans, which usually need 11 or even 12 meters to pull it off. Next comes ergonomics. Tesla lifted the driver's seat by just 20 to 30 millimeters compared with the Model 3. That might sound tiny, but it places the seat height in the ideal 620 to 680 millimeter band. Why does that matter? because it reduces hip and knee bending by 5 to 10 degrees when you get in or out. It lowers stress on your lower back, eliminates that sinking feeling of dropping into the seat, and it raises your eye line just enough to open a clearer view of the road ahead. To improve visibility even more, Tesla slimmed the A-pillars right at the driver's eye line and added a fixed triangular glass pane, while lowering the dashboard edge in the diagonal sight zone. That trims down the forward blind area by a few percent. Small on paper but a huge difference when you are turning left or right through crowded intersections. They also shifted the side mirror bases about 40 to 60 millimeters back from the A-pillars. This seemingly minor change moves the mirrors into cleaner airflow, which reduces wind noise by about 5 to 7 decibels at 60 to 75 miles per hour. It also opens up a wider diagonal view, 30 to 45 degrees making it easier to spot motorcycles or pedestrians moving alongside your car. Parking is another area where Tesla adds a thoughtful touch. The Model 2 shows a front bumper reference line on the screen near the leading edge of the car. This marker makes nose and parking against walls or pillars much easier. Most people normally have to shuffle back and forth once or twice to get it right, but this system often cuts those corrections in half, trimming front end distance error to just 5 to 10 centimeters. So here is a question for you, what matters more in your daily driving? 1. Easy parking or 2. Crystal clear visibility? Drop your answer in the comments. Now let us talk about cargo space. The Model 2 uses a clever two-layer cargo area and a wide opening hatch. Tesla clearly set real, usable targets here. The hatch opening width is between 1,050 and 1,150 millimeters, with a lift height of around 1,900 to 1,950 millimeters. That means you can literally stand upright while loading without banging your head. The load floor sits low, below 650 millimeters, so you can roll in a suitcase weighing 15 to 23 kilograms almost horizontally. By dropping the sill just 60 millimeters compared to a sedan, Tesla cut down the vertical lifting work by 12 to 14 jowls every time you load a heavy bag. 
that might not sound like much until you multiply it by years of use. The cargo floor itself has two tiers. The upper area holds 350 to 420 liters, perfect for groceries, backpacks, or a crate of water bottles. The lower tier adds another 50 to 80 liters, separated to keep a charging cable, tire repair kit, tow strap, or first aid kit out of the way. Heavy items down low also drop the center of mass so your bags do not wobble or clatter over speed bumps. Fold down the 60-40 split rear seats and you get a flat loading length of 1,600 to 1,750 millimeters. That is enough for a 65-inch television in its box or even a medium bicycle with the front wheel removed. Up front, Tesla adds a shallow frunk of 20 to 40 liters for clean items like a raincoat, gym shoes, or gloves, keeping your main cargo area uncluttered. Little usability details are everywhere. Bag hooks on each side hold up to 3 kilograms each. The cargo light shines 250 to 300 lumens right where you reach in. A 12-volt 120-watt outlet powers a portable inflator. The cargo floor has a handle with a latch to hold it up when you need to access the lower tier. A plastic guard, about 800 millimeters wide, protects the bumper lips so you can slide in heavy gear without scratching paint. When prototype photos appear, you will know this layout by the tall hatch, large hinges, floor handle cutout, and low floor that exactly matches Tesla's technical targets. Moving to the doors, another everyday feature Tesla rethought. The Model 2's doors open wide and close with a satisfying quietness. Tesla targeted an opening angle of 80 to 85 degrees for both front and rear doors, with three detents at roughly 35, 60, and 85 degrees. That way the door stays put instead of swinging shut on a mild slope. The hip level opening width is at least 720 to 760 millimeters, while the step in height is about 450 to 480 millimeters, making it easier for older users or anyone who struggles with twisting in and out of cars. The exterior handle is a simple pull type set between 900 and 1050 millimeters from the ground, needing only 20 to 30 newtons of force. Inside, the release handle travels 25 to 35 millimeters, close to the armrest, so you never have to reach awkwardly. Closing effort is tuned to just 30 to 40 newtons. Add dual weather seals, one 14 to 18 millimeters and another 8 to 12 millimeters, and you cut cabin wind noise by 2 to 4 decibels at highway speeds compared with a single seal. Even water management was carefully thought out. Drain channels along the belt line stop rain from dripping inside when you crack the door open. Hinges are built to survive 30,000 open-close cycles with hardly any wear. Polypropylene scuff plates resist shoe abrasion, and a backup mechanical release lets you open the door safely in a power loss. All these details add up to doors that stay durable, open wide, and keep the cabin calm. Imagine how much easier that would make your daily routine. Tesla also designed a quiet pack for the Model 2 to tame real-world noise. Laminated glass in the front doors uses two panes of just over 2 mm each with a polyvinyl interlayer, cutting noise by 2 to 4 decibels at 60 to 75 miles per hour. Wheel wells lined with felt or honeycomb plastic reduce the sharp ping of stones and road debris by 3 to 6 decibels. The underbody gets composite panels with absorptive materials 8 to 12 mm thick trimming low-frequency boom by 1 to 3 decibels while also improving aerodynamics for up to 2% more range. Additional seals around the rear doors and pillars close tiny gaps, shaving another decibel or two. Factory mud flaps block rocks and water spray. Spot a prototype and you will notice thicker window borders, dark wheel arch liners, flat underbody panels, and visible dual door seals. These little touches mean you can actually chat in a calm voice at highway speed or listen to your favorite podcast without cranking the volume. Now let us move to wheels and tires. Tesla chose 16 to 17 inch wheels paired with tires that have a tall sidewall ratio, 55 to 60 percent. That choice achieves three important goals. Smoother ride comfort on rough pavement, better rim protection against potholes, and significantly lower replacement cost. For context, a common 16-inch size has a sidewall height of about 123 mm, while a 20-inch low-profile tire has only about 82 mm. 
that is a 35 to 50% difference and you feel it every time you hit a bump. Taller sidewalls absorb impacts better so the steering wheel does not jolt in your hands and the body feels more composed. Tesla even designed quick-release aero wheel covers. On long highway trips, you can snap them on for smoother airflow and 1-3% to more range. For city use, pop them off for easier cleaning. Smaller wheels also weigh 1-2 to kilograms less per corner compared to larger ones, reducing unsprung mass and improving grip. And the cost difference? 16 or 17 inch all season tires in the United States usually cost between $90 and $160 each, while 19 to 20 inch tires often run $220 to $350. Over a full set, that is several hundred to more than $800 saved every replacement cycle. Tesla makes sure these tires are standard sizes, widely available, so you will not have to special order replacements. The tire pressure monitoring system shows each wheel's pressure and alerts you if any tire strays by 2 to 3 pounds per square inch, keeping maintenance simple and safety high. So when you look at the Model 2 in 2026, you will see more than just a compact Tesla. You will see a car shaped by dozens of small but meaningful choices, short and wide proportions for easier driving, clever visibility tweaks that keep intersections safer, a cargo system built like a toolbox. Doors that open wider and close more quietly, a noise package that calms highway trips, and wheels that ride smoother while costing less. Each decision pushes the Model 2 toward being easier to live with, quieter, and cheaper to own in the long run. Now, I want to hear from you. Out of all these features, which one would improve your life the most? The easy parking? The clear visibility? The practical cargo space? The wide opening doors? The calming quiet pack? or the smarter wheel setup. And what would you like us to test next in a real-world drive? Should we do a cost-per-month breakdown, a highway noise meter test, or a loading challenge with a 65-inch television? Drop your choice in the comments below. If this focus on practical, durable, low-maintenance technology is exactly your thing, then you are in the right place. Subscribe to Torque Element, turn on the notification bell, and join us on this journey, because the next chapter is going to be even more exciting.